how to reach out to others, how to give a room to the Holy Spirit so that it can use you as a pure vessel to reach out to others. So by this video, beloved, you have to understand that you have to um to be proper fishers of men you have to make yourself available to the lord you have to let his holy spirit take over by acknowledging him in your life in your heart so i will give you an example um the place where i used to live in before and um, there was a park nearby and before going out there i was asking um, the Lord, my assignment for the day. So I, as I went to the park, as it was sending me to the park, I was worshiping the Lord. I was um, meditating on the scriptures and whatever it was inspiring, inspiring me. And actually, it was sending people to me, uh, mostly men. And surprisingly, they were all unbelievers, like atheists, um, um, and animists, and and other religions. And basically, these people, as uh, um, I was introducing them to Jesus Christ, some of them, they gave their life to Jesus Christ almost straight away. And for some, it took longer um, so that they had to acknowledge because it depends on the case. Then you sow the seed and the Holy Spirit himself waters the seed so that on due time, accordingly to God's will, that person comes to meet Jesus Christ. So again, beloved, God is not a, a God uh, uh, that is logical. God is not a man because um, as it is written in the scriptures, his ways are higher than our ways his thoughts are higher than our thoughts so we have to understand that sometimes we may be facing certain situations certain circumstances that may uh, not be comfortable for us but to do god's will is to follow him no matter what it takes uh, whatever the circumstance uh, may be it's for the advancement of his kingdom and to bring him the glory so remember that beloved um, um to follow jesus is not a glamorous thing really it's to submit yourself to the lord to devote to commit yourself to do what it takes to please him not man and therefore to hear his voice where it is also written that his sheep, he knows his sheep, his sheep hear his voice and he knows them and they follow him. So I would encourage you, beloved, therefore, to take out of you any kind of of uh, a position or title, whatever it is, and to humbly submit yourself to the Lord so that it may use you and to reach out others and to bring more souls to his kingdom. Hallelujah. So I pray, beloved, that the Lord himself, for those who may resist, whether knowingly or not, the Holy Spirit, that they will lay down their lives the same way that our Lord they laid down his life for each and every one of us, so that we may uh, boldly and with confidence walk on the field and therefore to shut down the powers of the enemy. Because remember, beloved, that the enemy is still there, is there to, 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 to steal, kill, and destroy, and therefore to prevent men from meeting Jesus. So think about it, beloved, and again, pray to the Lord to give you the wisdom, the help that you need to do His will. Hallelujah. God bless you.